Well, we've now arrived at anchors four and five. Anchor four tells us to resist the urge to run from what we're experiencing, to resist the urge to think in the past or the future, or to try to figure out what will happen next. We're to stay in the present to experience this, dis this discomfort, this dis-ease, until it changes. Now, take some deep breaths again. Gradually recognize the change in your discomfort as you emerge from it into an open field of rainbow colored wildflowers. How is your body responding now? Have you moved through that discomfort? Did you breathe a sigh of relief? Did your body relax, your muscles untighten a little bit? It's time to introduce Anchor 5. After we have experiences that cause us disease of any kind, and we've allowed ourselves to move through it. We're left with the energy of the experience that we need to discharge from our bodies for our physical and emotional well-being. In other words, like the disciples, we need to shake it off. Shake it off. Menachem gives us some suggestions of good ways to shake it off. For me, I kind of like this and this, and my legs are going, you just can't see them. But he makes some suggestions that maybe don't look as goofy, um, like exercise, sports, dancing, singing, yard work, housework. I'll add shake your beads. These five anchors have been given to us as a way to be safe, whole and healthy in turbulent times on earth as in heaven. So for the last time, let me ask you, is this what you are seeking?